Hey guys, Katie Krause here, and I'm joined today by Tamar Caprellian. But I want to start at the beginning of your career. How did you get into music? I was actually doing a fundraiser for my high school class. I was just goofing around and I had like a soda bottle in my hand and I was singing into the soda bottle. So this guy behind me, he, he tapped me on the shoulder and he goes, excuse me, are you a professional singer? And I said, well, I want to be. He was a talent scout and he introduced me to one person in the industry and then that person introduced me to someone else. You know how it works. Right. It's, like a, it's like a web. In 2008, you entered One Republic's YouTube contest. Mm -hmm. So I have to know, what made you want to do that? So my producer, Zandy, calls me up. He goes, you know, I think you should do a cover. Put it up on YouTube. So Lucky I entered you. mine. <laughs> and you and, won. And I won, yeah. You made history. Right. Well, you are currently signed to Interscope, which is also the home to the Black Eyed Peas and Lady Gaga. It's an honor to be on the same label as such incredible artists. Your career has really come full circle since 2008 because on your current record, Sinner or Saint, you actually worked with Ryan Tedder. Every lyric idea, every melody idea that, that spews out of that brain of his is, is really brilliant. Mm -hmm. It's sort of about dual personalities, Absolutely. I heard, so kind of explain that to me. Well, Ryan listened to the record and he said, Tamar, there's a side of your personality that you're not exploring. And he said, I think you can be either a sinner or a saint. And I said, that's it. We should write about that. The first single off the album, New Day, was on American Idol last week. I know. So I know. Asked you, what did you do when you heard that? I think Idol is really amazing in the sense that it really gives a good message to people. I never used to know the sun will shine Talk to me about your songwriting process mm -hmm. and where do you feel most inspired? I have a beautiful baby grand piano at home and I'm locking myself in my house starting Monday and writing for the next two months. Do you have a favorite song on Sinner or Saint? I do. It's it's uh, a song called Raining in Paradise. It's a lullaby that I wrote for, this sounds super cheesy, but for my future kids. And I have to know, where do you see your place in the music industry? Like a Sarah McLachlan who has, who has a longevity, who can release albums every few years. The album, Sinner or Saint, is out now, so tell our viewers why they should pick up a copy. It's positive and the melodies are really catchy and I think you'll like them. Well, thank you so much for being here today with us. I'm excited to see the future of your career. Thank you and for having me. Of course. Well, really quickly, tell our fans where they can keep up with you. Twitter, MySpace. I'm, I am on Twitter, I am on MySpace, and I check all my social networking accounts, so it's me that you're talking to. So follow her, and like her, and get her album. Yes. Do it!